we're going to discuss how to add measurements. And I have a couple of different ways for you, but one way is easier than the other. Now, it's important to know the conversions of units or to have a chart to help us. There's usually one in the back of your book, and you can find some online. When we add a column of numbers, we know to regroup the place values. It's also called carrying over. If we wanted to add 27 and 17, we know we need to carry this 1 over here to regroup it as a 10, don't we? Because 7 plus 7 is 14. We use the same concept when adding measurements, except we have to pay attention to the unit conversions. So if we add 4 feet 9 inches and we want to add 3 feet 5 inches, we have to remember that 12 inches is a foot. 9 and 5 is 14 inches. We can pull a foot out of this 14 inches. We take away 12 of them and we give that foot to the 7. That'll give us 8 feet and 2 inches. We just regroup this 12 over to the feet just like we would regroup this 10 to the tens column. See? Let's try it again. We've got 5 hours and 48 minutes and we're going to add 2 hours and 22 minutes. We know that 60 minutes is an hour. When we add them, we get 7 hours and we get 70 minutes. We can pull a 60 minute hour out of this 70 minutes and give it to the hours to regroup it, we've got 10 minutes left over. We got 8 hours and 10 minutes. We just regrouped 60 of these minutes as an hour. Let's try it with some ounces and a pound. We've got 3 pounds, 11 ounces, and 1 pound, 5 ounces. When we add them together, this 11 ounces and this 5 ounces make 16 ounces. Well, 16 ounces equals 1 pound. And 3 pounds and 1 pound makes 4 pounds. We can actually regroup this entire 16 ounces as a pound. We have five pounds even. All right. Now here's another way you can do it, but it might take you longer. We can also convert all the units to the smaller units. So we'll convert all of these to minutes, even these, and then convert them back to larger units. But like I said, it could take longer. So we know that there's 60 minutes in an hour, and 5 times 60 is 300, and 2 times 60 is 120. Now we have 300 minutes plus 48 minutes. That gives us 348 minutes. We have 120 minutes plus this 22 minutes. That's going to give us 142. It gives us a nice grand total of 490 minutes. Now we have to divide it by 60 to break it into hours to simplify it, don't we? So now we have to do long division. We have to divide 490 by 60. Well, 6 times 8 is 48, so 60 times 8 would be 480. That gives 10 minutes left over. We know we've got 8 hours and 10 minutes, just like we had over here. 8 hours and 10 minutes, see? But it's much quicker to regroup them. It's much faster, all right? So you could do it this way, but boy, it's going to take you longer, all right? Just regroup the smaller units to see if you can make a larger unit, all right? So that's how we add measurements. And we're going to talk about subtracting measurements, which is basically the same concept. We can borrow from the larger unit and regroup it. And I hope you're having a great day. Bye.